Professor Etter has spent the better part of the last 20 years researching smoking prevention and cessation and with the advent of electronic cigarettes, the role they play as well. Um, Professor Etter, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, and looking specifically at a teenage cohort, what role do you see e-cigarettes playing in smoking cessation efforts or prevention efforts? Well, um, much of what can be said about teenager is conjectures because there's not very, there's not a lot of research on e-cigarette use uh, in teenagers. Of course, there has been this uh, CDC report a few weeks ago that showed that the uh, number of kids who tried e-cigarettes in the U.S. was increasing. Uh, well, the data that were reported showed that trial of e-cigarettes increased, that's true, but uh, there was no regular use that was reported in this, uh, in this survey. So currently, either in the U.S. or in other countries, there are no published data on regular use of e-cigarettes in kids. So one often hears that e-cigarettes would be a gateway to smoking in kids, that they will start using e-cigarettes, then uh, we'll get addicted to nicotine, and then we'll switch to, to tobacco smoking. Well, this is only a hypothesis. There are no data supporting this uh, for the moment. And one could perfectly have uh, or, or state another hypothesis, which would be that if e-cigarettes protect adults against smoking, if they had, if they had uh, adults quit smoking or reduce their smoking, then why wouldn't they protect if uh, I mean, recently or yesterday, the um, European Parliament voted uh, mm -hmm. in favor of a prohibition of e-cigarette sales to minors below 18. But from a public health perspective, I'm not sure that this is a good idea. Because if e-cigarettes are an alternative to smoking, a safe alternative to smoking, then kids who smoke or teenagers who smoke are deprived of this alternative. They are, they are prohibited to, to quit smoking with e-cigarettes. And, and why should, I mean, nicotine gums and patches are not prohibited for sales to people who have 16 or 17 years old. So why mm -hmm. prohibit e-cigarettes in these in this people? It's not, I think it's not a good idea. You, you point out in, uh, the lack of research on on this, not only in this cohort, but and just because I think they're recent enough on e-cigarettes in general, um, and I understand your your point that uh, if if kids don't have an alternative to tobacco, the alternative that e-cigarettes might provide, then that might in, induce them to use tobacco instead of nothing at all. So what would your advice be to community pediatricians in, regarding dealing with their teenage patients who smoke or, or have tried e-cigarettes or are asking about it? Well, uh, you, you have three different cases. You have the, the case when uh, kids already smoke and, uh, and would like to quit or or it would be a good idea to advise them to quit, then there are approved uh, treatments and approved medications to quit smoking. And first, I think these things would be used. But if these kids want to use e-cigarettes, th there's no good reason to say that they shouldn't. Of course, we don't have a lot of research, but we, we already have about 80 published papers, so it's not like we don't have any research at all. We, there's already a lot of research, and more and more is being published every week, and almost every day you have new papers coming out. So uh, it's, it's quite likely that these products help people quit smoking, and probably also kids. Now, if you're talking about kids who don't smoke and don't use tobacco and have already tried e-cigarettes, it's probably not a good idea for them to continue with e-cigarettes if they're non-smokers. But again, uh, there are already a number of surveys in kids in several countries, and there's no indication that non-smokers uh, become regular e-cigarettes users. Of course, they will try this new product mm -hmm. as they try with new thing around, yeah. but there's no indication that they're interested in, in continuing 
it doesn't mean that it will not occur in the future, especially if the products improve, especially if tobacco companies uh, who have a lot of experience in targeting kids start targeting them with these new products. So th there's a need to watch what's going to occur, and there's probably a need also to, um, to restrict in some way advertisements dedicated or targeted at kids, but for the moment it's too early to really uh, prohibit these products to, 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 to teenagers, I think. I really think that e-cigarettes are a revolution in public health and that they will challenge us to rethink the place of nicotine in society and in the law. Currently, laws allow nicotine only in tobacco, which is deadly dangerous, and in nicotine medications like the patch and gum, which are not very attractive. Uh, people don't use them for a very long time. It's not very effective. But e-cigarettes now challenge this approach, and they will force us to rethink the place of nicotine in the law and in society to make room for recreational nicotine products that are addictive. That's, that's new, that's challenging, and I think it's one of the most important public health debates in recent decades. Not in recent years, but in recent decades.